So hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alan and this is the Hopeful Designer. So we are up again for another Canva Design Hack tutorial. And for this time, I'm going to teach you on how are we going to create the focus effect. So as you can see there, the magnifying glasses with the word, the word blurry and the image or the type word under the magnifying is clear. So if you get my analogy on the belief and lighting, give this video a thumbs up so of course our first step type in uh, the text so what's the text that i use okay it's there so type in the text that you wanted to uh, use on this effect so for this time we're going to use the believe uh, word okay so okay let's just put it on the middle and then after that you're going to download it with a transparent background or no background at all so in case you are not using canva pro you can go to remove that bg and remove the image of the downloaded background with the text that you wanted to use so after you've uploaded that canva let's upload it right now there um, let's just adjust adjust its size so that it won't consume up a lot of space when we widen it okay um okay just crop it a little bit there okay let's see wait okay there we have it okay place it on the middle and there we go okay <laughs> i'm the cat type of designer who's really into details in terms of sizes okay so um next step is go to elements and put a circle frame um, on the middle of it or where the clear um, image you want it to be so for this time I want it to be clear on the L I E word okay okay and then for our first I mean this is the third step already so again we're going to put um, the downloaded word on the frame okay just like that and then of course it it will look small so we're going to crop it with the same size as our word under the frame just like that okay so in order for you to find out if they have the same size you'll put them together at the same place okay so there's no overlapping maybe it's good already so there we go as you can see um they're already under it and it doesn't look like it has a circle frame so let's lock it so that it won't move when we edit the word okay so next thing to do is to click the word um the word really not the uh, frame okay the word and then adjust its blurriness okay so now you can see why we adjust the blurriness of it so that um the word on the middle will be highlighted and it will look like as if we're focusing there Okay, so let's just adjust it a little bit so that it will look good and it will really look fitting on our image so there lock it so uh, there we go as you can see okay so this time I'm going to teach you on how are we going to highlight the word that we've focused on so you can use a white circle since we've also used a circle frame if you use a square frame you can use a square element there and just follow the steps that I'm going to do with it as you can see there okay um, I have removed a little bit the frame so that I can see where to put the circle okay there I have removed it so that I can measure where to put the circle element is and then place it under it so that I can also place the word lie again so I can upload it see um, I can't upload it so I'm gonna put it under there we go okay and then place it again just like the same steps that we've done earlier make it as the same size of our word under the frame just like that 
okay so now that we've placed it and we've done doing these things later i'm going to teach you on how to use a magnifying glass instead of a white circle only so of course go to image and search for a reliable magnifying glass there and just repeat the same steps that i've done with the circle okay that's how easy it is okay so today i'm going to teach you in it and okay just walk you through there And that is how you put a magnifying glass on the middle of the word. So if you like this video, um, don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you on our next tutorials. Bye!